Hello everyone and welcome to ExamD. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the latest opportunity that is IBPS SOIT officer. So as we all know that uh, IBPS SOIT officer recruitment is been out. There are huge number of vacancies in IT field for all the IT aspirants. So this particular video is for the important chapter and the topics that you need to keep in mind before you start for the preparation of IT subjects. So before uh, going through this video, I would request you to go through the video which we have made on the notification of IBPS SOIT officer in order to know and understand the pattern of the exam, the need of the exam, the important dates and everything regarding eligibility. So we are not going to talk about the notification details here in the video. We are going to talk about the important things that we have to keep in mind for IT officer. And this particular video is only for the IT subject, not for Pons, Reasoning and English. So here we are going to focus on the important chapters and topics again. Uh, I'm repeating it. Important chapters and topics for the mains examination. As we know that we have to get the IT professional knowledge in the mains exam where it will be of uh, 60 questions uh, where we will be getting 45 minutes to answer those 60 questions. So we are focusing ourselves in that particular manner only and now we are going to start the discussion for the important chapters and the topics so before going ahead you should understand that you have to strike a balance between the syllabus and the time so you know that the syllabus is not uh, clearly defined by IBPS. They just mention that you have to read the professional knowledge. They do not give any kind of a specific uh, syllabus. So what we have is like we have to strike out a balance uh, where we can get enough time to cover at least important things uh, from the syllabus. How we are going to decide for the syllabus of IT is like from the previous year question papers and the important topics which are for the IT subject. Okay, so these two things I have kept in mind and I have uh, just prepared a list for 11 uh, chapters and you have to focus on these 11 chapters. Inside these 11 chapters, what all topics are important? That is also I have provided in a great detail. You guys can pause the video whenever you need to take any screenshot and can uh, like uh, note down whatever thing you want or feel like important is. Okay, so now this uh, video uh, will be talking about the syllabus in great detail but remember again syllabus and time here you need to strike a balance and you can strike out a balance only when you know what to study and in which time you have to study so let's start with the particular topic so first topic is operating system and here you can see there is a lot of things that has been written so operating system is one of the favorite chapters of uh, ibps and they usually ask a good number of questions from this topic so these are the things that you need to prepare in operating system i'm not going to read out the slide uh, you can pause the video you can take a screenshot and can uh, like save it for your future references but yes these are the topics if you prepare these topics definitely the questions that will be coming in the exam will not be left out you will be able to do it after that thing the next uh, thing is data structure so in data structures also uh, the things are like uh, these only here i have not written arrays but you have to prepare arrays also so as i'm toting notation this belongs from algorithm chapter but it is important for algorithms uh, and the data structure combined together so here i have mentioned the asymptotic notations then you can see only the uh, uh, data structure is not here it is also having algorithm that is sorting and searching and these kinds of algorithms so this is combined thing it is not only data structure it is data structure plus algorithm okay now after this thing what you have next is the object oriented programming and here you have to focus yourself more over on the java okay uh, it is not like you can you cannot learn c++ or any other object oriented programming language but with java you have to be very focused and uh, like this is the important uh, topic and language for uh, ibps so because they usually ask things from java and uh, then coming to structural language they focus more over on the c programming language so here you have to stick yourself especially to java yeah you can learn other things 
which are the object oriented concepts in other languages as well but please do uh, learn at least the concepts which are written in the slides in java okay and that will be more than sufficient for you to survive in the exam then coming to the database management system it is a uh, like a uh, very less number of data is being there in the slide but when you will dip dig deep down here in the particular uh, subject you will find that there is a lot more thing to uh, focus on when i say transaction and concurrency it is a huge thing in itself so we cannot write everything here but yes uh, you have to know at least these all uh, important uh, topics under database management system then there comes the compiler design and language processor this particular topic is not that important but yes there can come one or two question from this particular topic so here you should at least understand the assembler the compiler and the lexical analyzer which is there in the compiler design also the loading linking and interpreters these things are important the parsing and the syntax and the derivation and grammar are not that important but if you wish you can learn after that in computer organization this is very important and it is also going to get a huge number of questions in your exam but in computer organization you have to restrict yourself and you do not have to read everything out there in computer organization you have to limit yourself to the important topics only and these are the important topics that you need to focus on after that thing the computer networks in computer networks ip is very 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 important ipv4 and ipv versions in both are very important network devices are very important and in osi and tcp model comparison is also very 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 important so this particular topic of computer network you have to get it completely done in order to get good marks because after operating system this particular topic is the second most important topic in your ibps so exam now coming to software engineering this particular topic is also very important that it definitely gives you some amount of questions which are decent enough to get marks and here you can see whatever i have written uh, it is very 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 important and you have to uh, like complete all these uh, topics before you go to the exam so uh, this might look very uh, like um, humpty to you it might look very uh, large to you but actually it is not that the topics are very large number but when it comes to understanding the things it is easy so you can understand them very easily and at least in two days you can finish it off the entire software engineering but yes please do not skip this top subject this is very 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 important after that in data warehouse processing and the technologies which are related to it and here also all the topics are very 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 important parallel processors and class cluster system are not that important but yes apart from it the warehouse is related things and the data mining things are very important now coming to the data mining thing here uh, everything is important because data mining is the one which is also going to help you in the artificial intelligence and the machine learning they are not explicitly asked but yes being uh, in like in the domain of uh, ai and ml data mining is also very 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 important so here you have to at least finish off these many topics and you do not need to go so deep inside every topic you just need to know about each topic what they are doing and the basics at least for each and every topic which i have mentioned here in data mining at least after that thing computer and the network security this can oftenly combine uh with uh, the network uh, systems that is uh, like operating networking but uh, usually we keep it uh, like aside uh, from the network security perspective so cyber security network security is are very important and here these are very 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 important here one thing to add is like the types of attacks and the types of remedies and the cia tried which i have not mentioned in the particular uh, slide you have to keep a note of cia tried and the types of attack and the remedies that you need to take care to troubleshoot a system so i think uh, these are the important topics from our uh, analysis which are very 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 important for your exam and uh, for more information you can uh, visit our website that is www.ixambi.com here you can see that uh, this is our log the main page of the exam page you will get the course highlights what kind of things we are offering to you and here currently we are running very uh, offers you can just check for which particular uh, offer you are eligible for and you can just enroll uh, with us and you can just start with the preparation so here uh, for everything uh, you need to be very precisely uh, like you have to manage everything very precisely because we do not have any exact syllabus for it and if you wish to succeed and if you wish to work for this particular uh, sector that is it and you want a government job this particular opportunity is great opportunity for all of those who want to have this kind of exposure okay so that was all from my side for this video we'll keep bringing some more videos uh, that will be more technical with terms of the content and um, 
to keep us motivated please do like part do like the video and hit the subscribe button so that whenever we will come online you will get an update right there so by the time we bring the next video stay updated and keep practicing and please do check out our course on our website that is www.ixam.com